You guys may have heard about the hot new DJI product, right? The DJI Avinox. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it, what makes it special, and what the heck DJI is doing with e-bikes. What's up everybody, FC here, a DJI fan like you guys because they know what they're doing, right? Everything they touch, they have the Midas touch, they really take the time to offer a compelling product. And they found a new category to play in, it's the electric bike market. And what they are introducing is the DJI Avinox mid-drive motor. And what's it for? It's for e-mountain bikes. It can also be used for e-commuter bikes, e-cargo bikes and it's just kind of blown me away because i am from the bike industry 30 years in the bike industry and now i run an electric bike channel called emtb review and we have motors like shimano bosch bros sram all these guys have been competing for many years and all of a sudden today or gonna be tomorrow dji is releasing a new motor called the dji avinox and they're not making the bike they're just making the motor, the battery, the app, and the controller. So it's a whole ecosystem that's very important for an e-mount bike. And they're smart. They're not making the bike itself because they don't only think about bikes. And it's very hard to learn, very hard to catch up. So they are partnering with the first company, Amflow. But really what they're going to do is going to partner with whoever wants to buy their product. You and me are not going to be able to buy. We, it's basically going to be sold to e-bike manufacturers and they can create an e-bike around this motor system all right so dji as you know is a player a player with a lot of engineers they hold that robotics competition annually in shenzhen china get the best minds in the world and whoever wins they they offer him a job so they're just looking for projects for for, for these guys where to make money where they can offer something special and in e-bike motors it is a very ripe market or it's a very it's it's good for the taking because it's growing it's growing leaps and bounds every year but it is it is still developing and the, the biggest part of the system is the the motor the battery and the electronics and dji says hey we got something to offer and is there opportunity absolutely it's always evolving every year and whoever has the best motor usually will have the best bike because all the other technologies uh, geometry uh, and suspension, you know, they all get them from the same guys anyway. So this is the real way to separate. So what are they offering? They're offering a motor. It is a 5.5 pound motor. It's fairly light, but they're putting a lot of power, a lot of torque. A lot of motors right now are 80 to 90 newton meters of torque. They're offering one with 105 newton meters. And they have a special boost mode that you can sustain for a few, for a short duration. I don't know how long. And uh, that's gonna be 120 newton meters. So that is a, a significant increase from what's currently offered. The wattage, it's gonna go from 1,000 to 1,200 watts. And so it's a very strong motor. And in, uh, in terms of battery, where they got a really a lot to offer, they're gonna have a 600 watt hour battery and an 800 watt hour battery. All their components seem lighter than the competition, you know, because they're using the best motors, they're using the best battery cells, and we know they're gonna have the best chargers. Chargers too, they have a 150 watt charger and they also have a 500 watt charger. So a lot of options here. And you know they're gonna have the best connectors. Uh, and this is a big problem with, with uh, e-bikes right now. You know, Companies that are making these products are bike companies. They don't know a wire from, from, <laughs> from, 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 from anything. So all the wires break, all the connectors get loose or get contaminated with dirt. So DJI, know something about the elements here and about electricity so they're going to be able to do this right and on that note they have a display that looks world class uh, it's got USB-C output uh, it's got you know OLED display two inch uh, they also have an app that's very powerful and they have a lot of sensors you know light sensor torque sensor wheel sensor barometer <laughs> so it's going to be just an impressive product you know when can we get it so this bike now, I think it's being announced at Eurobike. You could probably buy that later in a, in a couple months. But really, 
where the U.S. is going to get it is when a, a U.S. manufacturer picks it up. If Trek picks up this motor, produces a bunch of Trek bikes with it or specialized, then we're going to be able to get it. And I believe whoever gets this motor is going to be uh, very competitive or a leader in the market. Because even though it's version 1, it just looks so good. So there you go. Just a little short one for you guys. DJI, you know, they have drones, obviously. They have consumer, commercial, they now have a, uh, power stations, battery stations. They have this wonderful DJI wireless mic that I have. They have stabilizers, they have action, action cameras. You know, what, what can't they do? No limitations for this company. Whatever they think, they can offer something special and uh, that's uh, different from the market. And then, of course, they need to make a lot of money on it. Uh, then they'll, they'll participate. So. Hats off to DJI, another uh, exciting product offering from that company. Now, will they get banned in the U.S.? Hmm.